In this video, I will walk you through a demo of the integration between Adobe Sign and Microsoft SharePoint Online. The example we'll be going through is the process of sending a supplier agreement from a SharePoint document library to a vendor for signature. We'll start from the perspective of the procurement manager, John Little, who needs to get a supplier agreement signed from Sam Carlson, a vendor. John can send a document for signature from a SharePoint document library or a SharePoint list on any device from desktop to mobile. In this case, John logs into his SharePoint Online account from his desktop and opens the Documents Library. From the Documents Library, he selects the Global Corp Supplier Agreement document. From the Adobe Sign drop-down menu, John selects Send for Signature to send the document for e-signature. John is now ready to enter Sam's email address in the recipients field. Note that the agreement is already attached and the standard message has already been entered by default. John also has the option of adding additional authentication methods and password protection to his document. He can also set a completion deadline for the contract and set reminder notices. All of this same functionality is available on mobile. John enters Sam's email address as the recipient. John can add multiple recipients and designate different actions he wants each of them to take. For example, he can add a recipient who needs to receive a copy of the document, or he can add a manager who needs to approve the document. He can also add himself or a recipient group and request that recipients complete their actions in order as entered or in any order. Before sending the document for signature, John checks Preview and Add Fields to preview the document and add additional signature and business fields, and clicks Next. Clicking the checkbox takes John to the drag and drop authoring environment where he can add any fields he wants his signer to complete. When John opens the agreement in the authoring environment, he sees the date field has been detected and added automatically. From the menu in the right sidebar, John can easily edit or delete existing fields, assign specific recipients to signature fields, or add more fields as desired. The signature field has also been automatically added to the agreement. Once he's previewed the document, John simply clicks Send. It's that easy to send a document for signature from SharePoint. John can track the agreement status right in his SharePoint folder or list. From his Documents library, John selects Agreement status to view the status of the agreement. In this case, he can see his agreement is out for signature. Now, let's take a look at what the signer, Sam Carlson, receives on his end. Sam receives a new email from John Little. He opens the email and clicks the link to review and sign the document. He'll be guided through the process step by step. Sam doesn't need Adobe Sign installed on his computer or mobile device in order to open, review, and sign the document. He also doesn't need to sign up for anything in order to sign. Sam can review the document and sign in on any browser on any device. If John was meeting with Sam face to face, John could use his mobile device to get a handwritten signature from Sam in person. Because Sam has unique access to his email, his email is considered the first level of authentication. His unique email account provides evidence of who signed the agreement. Sam takes a little time to review the agreement. He clicks Start and is guided to the first field that needs his attention. Here, Sam clicks once in the box, as instructed, to sign the document. So let's take a look at Sam's options for adding a signature. He has four choices. In the first option, he can type his name using the default Adobe Sign font-based signature. Second, he can create a biometric signature by clicking Draw and drawing his signature with the mouse. Third, Sam can upload a scanned image of his signature or business stamp and use it to sign, or Sam can create his signature on his mobile device for a more authentic looking signature. When he clicks Mobile, he's prompted to type his phone number and receives an SMS with a link to create a handwritten signature on his mobile phone. He clicks Type to initiate the process and enters his name as requested. He then clicks Apply to append the signature to the agreement. When Sam has completed all necessary fields, the Click to Sign button appears, and he can click it to complete the signing process. 
He can immediately download a copy by clicking the Download a Copy button and save it to his computer for future reference. Since a copy of the agreement has been sent to all parties, he will also receive a signed copy in his inbox. John can easily see the agreement status and track the history of the transaction. He'll be able to see if the agreement has been signed, if it's still waiting for a signature, or even if it's been declined. Within SharePoint, John clicks the name of the document and selects Agreement Status. Since Sam signed the agreement, the status has changed to Signed. All signed documents and audit trails are securely stored in a configurable signed agreements directory. From the Documents Library, John selects the Signed Agreements directory. He then clicks the agreement to open a SharePoint preview of the agreement's audit trail in his browser window. Alternatively, John can open the audit trail document to review a detailed history of events of the transaction. He can also view a signed copy of the agreement in his browser window. He views the agreement and verifies the signature. The documents are certified with a tamper evidence seal. The blue ribbon at the top of the agreement certifies the document has not been tampered with. This final document, with its tamper evidence seal, combined with the audit trail that logs every step of the document history, provide legal proof of signing.